Good evening, good morning, good afternoon. It depends on what time you're watching. Welcome to Let's Get Loud, where we're hearing the powerful story of Mona Lisa, as told by her, the, the giving birth to purpose, the cost, the high price she had to pay that started with her mother not approving of her wanting to be a hairdresser, to her life in Kima that began in a life of abuse, abuse, abuse that almost cost her her life. And this week, we're going to hear how after divorce, divorce and abuse, that she and her young son started life together, a journey that took them on two jobs almost every day. And I say them, yes, you heard correctly because he went with mommy to help out whenever and in whatever way he can. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome again <laughs> to the third week in this phenomenal series with a phenomenal woman, Mona Lisa. Mona. Hi, Ingrid. Hey, thanks, thanks again. Me, yes. mm. Thanks for having me. This week, we're going to hear the journey, life after divorce, and how you made it. You made it without that fifty dollars a week. <laughs> I know. <laughs> well, of course, I was still working with the government mm -hmm. then, the Cayman Island government, right. and of course, I really appreciate that. You know, you were working in the licensing department. department. Yes, yeah. I worked there for six and a half wow. years on an actual contract. Yeah, yes. That's good. So, as a single mother, mm -hmm. of course, as I said, with the divorce <laughs> and everything. Um, I still had to have a second job mm -hmm. because now there's no $50 no and $50. I had to find my way mm -hmm. to actually fend for myself and my son, and, you know, making only $729, $26, $29 mm -hmm. back then. Of course, it was a lot of money, <laughs> but not enough for me yeah. when you have a child. <laughs> or, 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 or for money, Lisa. Or for money, yeah, you know, <laughs> and to buy my pretty shoes. Yeah, everyone know. knows me. That's yeah. my signature. Yes. High heels still live, yes. you know. But I had to pick up a job. Mm -hmm. I needed a second job. Mm -hmm. And back then, you had to get permission from the government yeah. to work your second job, should mm -hmm. in case something happened to you on that okay. second job, mm -hmm. you know. What kind of job, what kind of permission you needed? Written? Well, there's written permission, okay. you know, from the Public Service Commission, mm -hmm. which they're the one who okay. dealt back then mm -hmm. with jobs, you mm -hmm. know, for government mm -hmm. staff. And I did go through, mm -hmm. but before I actually even got that job, mm -hmm. the second job, I had a friend, her mom, there's always someone coming into my way, into wow. my life. And she said, Moon Lisa, do you know anyone who can do some work in the evening mm -hmm. for cleaning mm -hmm. the glass house? We call it the government okay, administration the government. Mm -hmm. in the glass house. Mm -hmm. And I said, what kind of job? Mm -hmm. They said, cleaning, you clean the office. Right. And I said, well, I'm not going to tell you about anyone else. I want that ah. job because I wasn't care of, you know, the status yes. of the job. Yes. I just wanted to get this job mm. so that I could make a little extra money mm. to take care of my son. Mm. So she took me to her mom, mm -hmm. um, to this lady, mm -hmm. and I introduced myself. I said, oh, I know you. You mm. work at license and apartment, okay? So I said, yeah, but I said, how, you know, what time? Right. I needed to know the time. Mm -hmm. I would have to work mm -hmm. and what you know this morning right. you know, whatever because i didn't know because mm -hmm. i have a, a day job right. but a little extra cushion right. would go far away mm -hmm. so she said no 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 you work after work after you leave licensing okay. and i said okay i live right across the police mm -hmm. station which was so easy right. for me just one foot through the door <laughs> i'm over the glass house In your letters. well no, no no i have to dress i have to take off those clothes yeah. so i have to go flat oh. Right. But I still have to look stush. I still have to look presentable, you know, because remember, I have a character yes, to, you to, know, maintain. to maintain mm -hmm. and all that. Anyway, I got the job. Right. I went home. I changed my clothes. Mm -hmm. And, of course, I had to pick up my son because right. he was going to preschool back then. Right. So I picked him up and said, look, mommy has a new job. Mm -hmm. He said, mommy, you know, we'll work at the licensing again. And I said, yes, I have that job. But remember, we need money. Right. And daddy not giving us, you right. know enough money to take care of you so yeah. you have to come and help mommy mm -hmm. so i got the job at the glass house mm -hmm. to clean the glass house mm -hmm. floor 
but that was the second floor. I think it was the education department. Okay. So I was controlling all that area. Mm -hmm. My poor little son was there helping me, but he was so small. He couldn't even pick the garbage can out, but he's trying to put it in right. the, the big garbage oh, bag. And just... all the garbage was on the floor. But at the end of the day, it didn't matter. It was just my son and I. Yeah. And, and I knew what I wanted, you know, to do. Mm -hmm. And so that's the only job I could have done knowing that I have a child because if not, I would have to get someone yeah. to babysit him. Mm -hmm. Then but I'm working, cost money, mm -hmm. and it wouldn't make any sense. So at that moment, they didn't care. I didn't right. look down on a job mm -hmm. because I was doing it honestly. Yeah. And I continued to do that until... How long, how long did you do that? I think I do it maybe for a year and a half, okay. two years, because mm -hmm. now I wanted to have my own home. Ah, tell us about that. Yes. I wanted to have my own home, mm -hmm. so I would take that money yeah. in between and put towards the thing we call from Jamaica partner. What? If all Caribbean people, they yes. know what a partner is. I think in Bahamas, they call it source. I have no out. idea, yeah. but mm -hmm. back in Jamaica, mm -hmm. we had the partner. Oh, we have 10 people. Yeah. Each person give the same amount around. Right. So my supervisor, she was the head of the little okay. partner, so we oh. were in that. And at the time I wanted this house, the government had the housing scheme. You could get a small loan and you get your house. It was $45,000. That was a lot of money wow. back in the old days. Mm -hmm. But I played this part of the game and keep saving from it. And I had my own home. So and you did you purchase it cash then? No, no, no. Oh. No, no, no. $45,000 was oh, a lot of money I, back then. Years, yeah. But, you know, I work it and, you know, and then. That couldn't help me anymore, this job, night job anymore, okay. because it's not giving me the amount of money. Mm -hmm. But at least it was a start for the partner and to be able to take care of my so son. What did you do then? So I got another job mm -hmm. at the Seeker Rental Car. Oh. So I work with Seeker Rental Car, the Fosters. Thank you. Shout out to the Fosters. Fosters yeah. Yes, they were there for me, Mr. Wow. Foster and his mm -hmm. kids, you know, Shane and all of them. Yes. Robert, yes, mm -hmm. they were all there for me. Got the job, mm -hmm. and they knew me from licensing, and it was, you so know, it was still an evening job. It's still an evening job, yes. I work at night, so at that time I could afford an helper now Ooh. because I have more, more money, money come in, okay. and this helper could help me with my son at home, and we had a living helper. So. so she came from Jamaica. Yes, yes, yes. So yes, you yes. sent for somebody that you knew. No, no, no. She um. To be honest, I, I knew I her. Want some tea. Sure, I thank you. Tea? Sure, mm -hmm. no problem. I should be serving you That's the okay, tea. No. I'm serving you today. <laughs> oh, yes. precious. I'm thank you, Ingrid. Mm -hmm. Yes. So yeah, tell us about that time with the helper now and, and cash. Yeah, that, that person. She came to came and back mm -hmm. in the days mm -hmm. and. I met her. Oh, by the way, these are so cute. I got to do my pinky thing. My little pinky yes, thing. So yeah, but like we're English pinky now today. We're British we're, today. We're British today. Yeah, <laughs> look, look, pinky, 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 pinky. Yeah. Mm. Delicious tea. You, you make, you make these. Sweet oh yes. We, we, we'll get there. We'll, 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 we'll make a good tea. <laughs> we'll, we'll, get, we'll get there. We'll get to the tea and everything. But yeah. We'll, yes. For now, we'll try. Yeah. yeah. So this helper, this friend of mine. Well, I wouldn't say friend. Mm -hmm. I met her along the way. Okay. So Not you know, a person who came into your life. life exactly. And I told her that I wanted a helper, and yeah. she said she would come and stay with me. Wow. So she stayed with me in my house, and wow. somebody I think I could trust. Yeah. She was older than I am, mm -hmm. anyway, so she was like a big sister, mm -hmm. and she stayed with me. And I do the Seeker Seco. rent a car. So yeah. what did you do at Seeker? Um, I'll pick up tourists from the airport, Excuse take them to the you. hotel, so I have my own car, you know, they would give me a nice. car. So you're driving it all? Yes, yes, so I'll pick oh, them up, nice. yeah. Mm -hmm. That's great, you yeah. enjoy that because you're a people person. Oh, yes, and you know, we meet different people from all walks mm -hmm. of life, you know, mm -hmm. and so um, I work with them for quite a long time, yeah. and I actually got a car from them. No kidding. Yes. Your they, first car? My first car, uh, yes, they actually gave, when I say gave it to me without the deposit or wow. anything, they just give it to me and said, you know, you can have this car and take your time and pay so for my little salary. You know, they would take maybe a hundred dollars, whatever, wow. until I finished paid it off. And then once I paid it off, mm -hmm. then I said, huh, I don't want this car anymore. So my dad actually was now in Cayman okay. and working. Oh. 
with the water authority back then when the water supply was just coming into okay. Georgetown and work on those lines. Wow, oh, so yeah. your dad was a lines person? Yes, back, yes, back then, yes. The late, um, what do you call it? I can't remember the name of the guy, but mm -hmm. he knew me. Because when you work with government or into certain areas, mm -hmm. you get the chance to meet so many people. Ah. And I was always at the front desk. Ah, and I'm you, always, you were the front of Lysman. Yes, mm -hmm. the face I would the say, face of or the, the brand. Brand. <laughs> Back then, brand. The brand for government. Mm -hmm. Shout out to him and I, the license and apartment. Of course. Yeah, so I worked there. Mm -hmm. And because of that, I get the chance to meet everyone because Back then, it was the only the license and apartment. So it doesn't matter where you're from. Mm -hmm. You were coming into the highland mm -hmm. and you want the international driver's license. You have to come to the license and apartment. So I get the chance to meet mm -hmm. so many people from mm -hmm. different walks mm -hmm. of life. And so in this case, mm -hmm. these people knew me. Mm -hmm. Then I even knew them, you wow. see. And so they said, oh, you work license and apartment? And I said, yes. Mm -hmm. And they said, oh, so the job was so easy for me, you know to have oh, nice. see, so i work with the secret with the fosters mm -hmm. at home secret rental car mm -hmm. for quite a long time mm -hmm. so i said okay i'm not sitting with my dad i said daddy mm -hmm. this is my last day washing this car because i have a habit <laughs> i don't like dirty cars mm -hmm. even if inside is dirty outside must be clean, clean. Okay. especially if i'm wearing something white i don't want to open my door and my dress get messy oh. so every day even up to this point i wash my car every day nice i wash my car i cannot stand a dirty car wow. so i said to my dad dad this is the last day mm -hmm. that i'm going to wash my car mm -hmm. and he said what do you mean right. I said, i'm not going to drive this car home tomorrow i put it into being i spoke the okay. word yeah and i'm telling you ingrid Exactly so. The morning, mm -hmm. I put on a sign on it for sale. I had it at work in the parking lot. Mm -hmm. Some man came and said, who is selling that car? They said, me. He said, I'm interested in how much is it? Mm -hmm. I could have told him 10000 yeah. I don't remember right. now, right. but it was a lot of money. Then. Right. He said, okay, I'm soon be back. The man came with a big bag and he just said, here's the money, sign me over the paper. And that was it. And you, of course, were in the department that you could just transfer. Like everything, the same time. Wow. I have all this money, but no car now. Because I don't have a car to go back right. home. But I already say, I'm not driving this car, car home. home. Yeah. So I went home and dad saw me. Mm -hmm. He said, where's the car? Mm -hmm. I said, daddy, remember what I told you? He said, yes, but I thought it was joking. He said, I don't joke. I say things what I want. So <laughs> I what happened? What happened after that? Where did you get another car? Working at license and apartment, mm -hmm. as I said before, you meet so many people. And there was a company called Milmac Leasing, owned by the late John McLean. And I called him up and I said, Mr. John, I want this Suzuki Samurai Jeep. He said it was $14,000. Yes. I said, I want this Jeep. Right. I said, it's 14000 mm -hmm. but they're all standard. I said, well, I don't know how to drive a standard, but I want this Jeep. I said, okay. And he gave me a very fat discount on the Jeep. Okay. And I took the money mm -hmm. that I had, mm -hmm. went to the bank, mm -hmm. paid a deposit, got my Jeep. Didn't know how to drive it. They didn't know how to change gears. No. <laughs> I just bought the car. Went in, going home. Okay. I could, not change, I could not change the gears. Don't I just think the first gear all, all, the all the way home. Oh, and this, <laughs> all the way home, Ingrid, I, you know, I drove. In the morning now with all the traffic. So what I did, I made sure everybody is off, basically off the road because if I'm in the traffic, <laughs> I'm going to be in a mess. So from the licensing department yeah. to the four-way, mm -hmm. to go down to Smith Road, right. behind the pines, it was something. So I had to wait till everybody basically off the road of heavy traffic. Okay. Then of course I find my way and in, I in went first home gear. in first year home. The morning now I have to go to work 8.30. So now the traffic, I don't know what to do. Mm -hmm. I still drove the car in the first year, but when I reached the four way, the car started to roll back. Yeah, exactly. And I don't know what to do. So that's all of the handbrake. And then when I saw that all the cars out of the way, I just, Put the car in, you know, with more gas, push it, reach home. I mean, reach the license, reach the work. 
And then I called um, this guy that always teach people to drive. I said, look, I have this standard and I don't know how to drive it. He said, okay, I'll, I must wait on him. He would come and meet with me. And he took the car and he took me to some place, some area I can't yeah. remember now. And he said, showed me how to the change, gears, and really? change gears because I'm a quick learner. Uh -huh. And, and my you've been dad, changing gears ever since. since yes. Damn. Standard. Yeah. Mm. Good for you. Good for yeah, you. Good so, for you. Yeah. so you mentioned something about him going off to Jamaica. When yes. Did you send him off to when Jamaica? he was seven. When he was seven. seven yeah. Mm -hmm. Because um, things was getting harder. Mm. In I the sense of work okay. um now i was on a contract back then oh, okay. in the old days you mm -hmm. have to have a contract if you're working with government mm -hmm. so i had a contract for mm -hmm. six and a half that's why i only worked with government for six and a half years okay. so, so i worked with them and then of course not working with government was something hard now for me to continue the job now with oh. the with the rental car because mm -hmm. now i only had the residency i didn't have i couldn't i didn't have status mm -hmm. so it was hard for outside the private sector right. to take out a work permit right. for that job because they would say you have to get the command mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. all that so mm -hmm. it was hard so my contract expired and, and you didn't uh, renew it well they didn't want to because they oh. wanted the command oh. to fill the position yeah. so yeah. that was what i signed up for yeah. isn't it yeah. not thinking that the, the marriage was going to end yeah. 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 you know so right. i had no choice but well, what did you do well, again, with my work and saving my money, I was able to save, you know, and I had a life insurance. And what I did, I just cashed in on it before time because I had to do what I had to do. Mm. Not having a job, yeah. bills have to be paid, yeah. mm -hmm. everything. So I decided, you know, I'm going to send my son to, to Jamaica. But at that time, I was dating an Italian. Mm. Yes, and he, he came into our life mm -hmm. as well. Again, that relationship was sort of shortly because mm -hmm. then they had this new government, I mean, this new no. uh, law mm -hmm. came into effect that you could not transfer your work permit, you just have to continue to that field. Oh, okay. And so for him, mm -hmm. he had to go back to, to Italy. Yep. And of course, it was hard because, of course, he used to take good care of mm -hmm. both of us mm -hmm. at the same time. Mm -hmm. And uh, being this, as I said, the father that, you know, a man yeah. figure within yeah. the house, you know, he had to leave. And so overseas relationship has, you know, yeah. never know. But so mm -hmm. we, you know, but we stayed friends up to this day. Yeah, yeah my husband, my current husband mm -hmm. now, you know, met him mm -hmm. and the family. Mm -hmm. But back to this, mm -hmm. he went back to Italy. Mm -hmm. And he wanted, once I told him, I, you know, that I lost my job yeah. and it was hard, he's Italy. His family would take care of him. What? And what a choice. I had a choice to either send him to Italy, to his family, because we were engaged. I was his fiance okay. and his parents mm -hmm. knew me. I lived in Italy for six years, uh, for six months. Okay. So I've been there. Great. So a bit, I used to speak fluent, but you know, not using the language, you Can know. Can a little bit? Can you say a little bit? Can you say a little bit? Can you say a Well, he actually called me Chicha. Ah, Chicha. Yeah, Chicha, yeah. You know, there's a lot of little words I still remember. Mm -hmm. Chabella, you yeah, know. Chabella. And, yeah, or, and so the phone, you say pronto, you know, okay. I just, you know, mm -hmm. send the words. Right. But anyway, while I was there, mm -hmm. you know, we decided his family called, they knew him mm -hmm. as a little boy. And I told my mom again, my mm -hmm. mom said no. no. Mm -hmm. So in some way, I always say, you know, she know mothers knows best. So it's all right. She said, mm -hmm. I will take care of okay. him while you figure it out. Okay. So I was seven, but I want to still be in his life. Right. He don't have a dad, right. so I have to be bold. Mm -hmm. So I said to mom, get on our feet. Right. And he went, but he would come every holidays because mm -hmm. I wanted him to know that I'm his mom. Right. That's my your grandmother. Mm -hmm. Do not call her mom, mm -hmm. mommy, or mm -hmm. anything. Grandma. His grandma. Mm -hmm. I am your mother. Mm -hmm. So I had him there. Okay. And how long did he stay? Up until he was 14. What? Yeah. So he yeah. actually did high school. He did part of well after, when he went wow. to Jamaica, he was going to Georgetown Primary mm -hmm. School mm -hmm. in the beginning. Mm -hmm. When he went to Jamaica, we had to put him into private school because you know, with the customer, you yeah. know, here it's different, they live in everything. Mm -hmm. So we put him into that school, mm -hmm. summit prep in Martin Bay. Okay. And while he was there, he passed the Paul Bogle scholarship. What? 
yes but my mom mm -hmm. didn't want him to go to Martin Bay High School which is the main high school okay. in St. Thomas mm -hmm. at the time I think well I think they have one called Titchfield I can't remember yeah. much about Jamaica okay. because mm -hmm. I've left there for so long mm -hmm. but anyway my mom said no there is a high school now a secondary school that became a high school mm -hmm. in our neighborhood okay. and it was right you have to pass my house to, to go to, to the high school, school. Mm -hmm. so my mom wanted to have an eye on him yeah. make sure that you know mm -hmm. he was following mm -hmm. you know the way I know right. she raised him mm -hmm. you know and she sent him to that school but he didn't really like it there okay. but he was taught the different for him mm -hmm. with his came in friends he met you know they're no longer there right. you know but he, he he stand to his ground. He did what he had to do. He studied hard. That's Whenever good. I speak to him, mm -hmm. he said, look, you soon come home. Don't right. worry. Right. Mom is going to, you know, make yeah. you be coming back. So he said, okay. So he said to me sometimes, he said, mom, when you keep telling me I'm coming back mm -hmm. home, he didn't believe me oh. because he had his mind so much on it. And he would say to his friends, I'm going back home. I'm going back oh. to Cayman, you know, mm -hmm. and they would call him the poor tea because he leave from Cayman no, and gone okay. to Jamaica it's and serious. he's a yeah he speaks different you know he don't speak right. you know so they say oh my god this is the guy because they don't have a clue what's going on again so that's a part of bullying yeah. as well so he, he said mom I didn't believe you anymore yeah. it's when like next week yeah. or something he said okay and I said okay you know what I'm gonna make sure he comes for every holiday mm -hmm. If even one day, I just want him to come. So his friends then now start to get jealous because they see that he's traveling. traveling. And yes. So, you so know. So how did that make you feel though, having had to make that decision? It was hard, but mm -hmm. I think in the long run, mm -hmm. I did the right thing mm -hmm. because my mom raised five of us, right. basically six yeah. girls, right? And she did it all on her own. When I say all on mm -hmm. her own, my dad mm -hmm. being away yeah, in the United mm -hmm. States, she had to be again mm -hmm. the man and the woman mm -hmm. of the house. Mm -hmm. So I think that resonated with so me. Good training from well, her. yes, mm -hmm. yes, you know. So you know, she didn't do anything wrong to us. She didn't really beat us mm -hmm. or you know do anything mm -hmm. wrong. Or so. So for me, I always say, if my mom can take care of me, you know. And he was the first boy, well, first grandson. grandson. So he was, you know, that that's that special. Was, yeah, he, he was, was spoiled. Spoiled. he was spoiled. Okay, you know, they really, no, yeah, they they loved him. Oh. You know, it's really. I wouldn't say disappointed, but they were saddened when he had to come home. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So when he came, that's when he met my husband, okay. my current husband, mm -hmm. and. We'll he was yes that right that's an episode like, <laughs> yeah, yes but you know thank god for my son that he made me help me make that decision yeah. to have this husband yes. <laughs> yes. yeah smart kid yeah smart i think so kid. Yes. Smart kid. thank smart you kid. again yeah. Mona, you've been through a whole lot yeah. you've you, you climbed mountains You've gone into valleys and climbing. that's one of my favorite songs. Hey. Yeah, the climb every mountain. Because yeah. you have climbed a lot of mountains. You had to face the fact that your mom didn't approve of you yeah. wanting to be a hairdresser. Then you came here and you went through abuse that I don't know. Only so you, much, uh, yeah. It's still yeah. so much it's, untold yeah. story right. about that, but. right? And and then you had to. And there's a top of the surface, it. yeah. That was only part of the surface yeah, that was still being scratched, scratched, you know, mm. just so much. And then you had to make this is because you needed to yeah. find yourself. In but I'm gonna tell you something. Mm. I was actually at the airport to pick him up. Mm. I turned my back a bit. Mm because he didn't see me mm -hmm. quite often until I was on my own, you know, mm -hmm. up financially that I right. could send for him for holidays, oh, yeah. mm -hmm. but how to side out to mine. Mm -hmm. But I turned my back talking to someone mm -hmm. and apparently by the time I turned, he came out from the, from inside the airport, yeah. the rival. Yeah. I don't know how he recognized me and knew it was me, mm -hmm. but that person just came and, and I turned around and said, like, oh, I said, oh, you know, it's me. He said, Mom, even in the dark, I can see you. I know how you look. In the dark. 
So he just came and said, oh my God, I was so happy. I burst out, I was crying, I was so happy for joy that, you know, I have him one more time. In the dark. Yeah, that's what he said to me. So those are little things that still Mm -hmm. stays, you know. In the dark, I can recognize Yeah, I was so, and then again, as I said, and that was his first trip coming back to Cayman to visit for mm-hmm. holidays. Mm-hmm. I haven't seen him right. almost say seven, six, right. seven years, mm-hmm. you know? And there I was talking to someone, just turned my back and that child spot me, realized it was me and come straight. I was like, wow. Mm-hmm. And that's what he said, you were in the dark. If you were in the dark. No, that's a good. Please to end the segment because it was recognized. <laughs> yeah, that's a story. Right. Oh, that's a story. That's a story. <laughs> that's gonna make you smile. It won't make you cry mm-hmm. because that's a story. And ladies yeah. and gentlemen, you are going to hear that story. Because I am ready to hear that story in detail. <laughs> Guarantee, money back guarantee, money back guarantee. <laughs> You're gonna love it. So until then, thank you and have a great evening, morning, afternoon, whatever it is. Wherever you are. Just make it great.